hello everyone welcome to our new video that is about distemper in dogs that is also called canine distemper or heart bad disease distemper is one of the most serious dog disease however it is preventable the disease affects dogs respiratory gastrointestinal central nervous system and eyes Bad doctors consider this temper vaccine equally important as canine adenovirus, parvovirus, and rabies vaccine. This temper is caused by a family of RNA virus called paramyxoviridae. The same family is also responsible for causing measles. This virus attacks multiple body system that makes it quite hard to treat the disease. The disease is very contagious that spread through inhalation and exhibit 100% mortality rate among unvaccinated hosts. However, in domestic dogs, the severity of disease depends on immune system, age of the host, and virulence of the virus. Despite vaccination, this is one of the major disease found in dogs. Now let's talk about symptoms of distemper disease. The signs of distemper in dogs can either be no sign, mild respiratory sign, or severe symptoms that include pneumonia, blood diarrhea, and death. Some common signs among dogs are coughing, difficult breathing, runny nose, diarrhea, vomiting, loss of appetite, weight loss, and fever. In some dogs, signs related to central nervous systems also appeared. These signs include number one, twitching of muscles, number two, chewing gum fits. It is seizures with jaw movement and salvation. Caesar is an uncontrolled electrical disturbance of brain that causes disturbance in movement, behavior, and feelings. In severe cases, the dogs can develop grand mal convulsion that ultimately cause the death of dogs. Grand mal convulsion causes a loss of consciousness and violent muscle contraction. There are some other symptoms that appear in infected dogs that include sensitivity towards light, increased sensitivity to touch and pain, circling, and also in coordination. If these symptoms persist, it can lead to paralysis and blindness. Now we see how is dispenser spread. There are three main ways through which the infection spread one, from one dog to another. That include direct contact with infected dog, airborne infectious agent, and placenta. The virus can be transferred from one dog to another through saliva, pressuring, blood, coughing, sneezing, sharing of food and water, the virus cannot remain alive in air for longer period of time and easily died by some disinfectants. However, an infected dog can shed the virus in its feces for several months even after recovery. The shedding of virus in feces can make the other animal sick. Infected which can also transfer the disease to its newborn. The puppies younger than 7 months born from an unvaccinated mother or an unvaccinated adolescent dog with weak immune system are mostly affected by the disease. They can also develop a secondary infection like pneumonia that can cause death. Now we see how this temper can be diagnosed. Appearance of symptoms play an important role in diagnosis of distemper disease. The symptoms like respiratory, neurological, high fever, and thickened food pad can be an indication of distemper in dogs. 
Other than observing the symptoms, a test is carried out to confirm the presence of virus. The translational epithelium from the inner lining of bladder is stained with diff quick. The inclusions in infected cell stain red. In the early stages of distemper, about 90% of bladder cells will show positive results for inclusion. Now we see how distemper can be treated. There is no treatment for distemper disease. Once the infection is confirmed, only supportive care is given to treat diarrhea, vomiting, neurological disorders, dehydration, and secondary infections from bacteria. Veterinary doctor advised to admit said dogs in hospital to reduce the risk of spread in other dogs. Some of the dogs may survive by developing its immune system while others die. Now we see how distemper disease can be prevented. Distemper is hard to treat, but it can easily be prevented. For prevention, some important measures should be adopted that include the dog must get full series of distemper vaccine. There shouldn't be any gap in distemper vaccination. The dog should be kept away from other infected animals. A special care is required while socializing the dog. That was all about canine distemper disease. Hope you really liked this video. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos.